afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today on a very uh, important topic and one that we've talked about and had a few um, webinars about uh, and it's about how to get the most out of the marketing compensation plan and, and today really talking about the business building bonus. And I just want to remind you that this is being recorded so don't worry about it if you can't take fast notes and it will be on the website by the end of the week. Also on the right hand side under handouts um, there's a PowerPoint, uh, the PDF of this PowerPoint so you can uh, download that <clears throat> and save or print out as you like. Okay, so we're going to get started here and uh, else would decide to work here. There we go. So first off, growing your business. Some of the keys to success are obviously using the product, sharing the product, and sharing the opportunity. And once you teach your people how to do basically one, two, and three, you are in that 12%. And that's where it all starts. And it's really as simple as one, two, three. And just really remembering that and sharing that with your people and sharing these three points. Use the product, share the product, share the opportunity. See, it's as easy as one, two, three. So I want you to really remember that and bring that in your head and talk to people and remind them of how this, this business can truly grow for them. And there's really five drivers to a Nature Sunshine business, and that's products that people are excited to talk about, a lifestyle that people are, people are eager to work towards, a simple business to do, a duplicatable process to follow, and dynamic, experienced leadership. And the questions you really need to ask are, you know, what level, you need to ask your people basically, what level do they want to achieve in the next 6 to 12 months? What steps will they take to achieve their goals? What is their why? And if their why hasn't been established, then that's your job as their coach and mentors to help them establish it. And are they doing meetings and coaching with their teams to help them move forward? And obviously this all starts with you. Are you running meetings? Are you coaching your people? Are you having, whether it's a weekly conference call or weekly calls with your, um, with your organization, are you having a monthly meeting? And it can't be in person, is it in, you know, do you do it over Skype or Google Hangouts? But what are you doing? Because remember, it's following the leader, right? Follow the leader. We always talked about it as kids. It's following the leader. Well, you are the leader. You are their coach, their mentor, their sponsor. So always remember that because people are always watching you. Again, you are their mentor and their coach. So again, are you doing meetings, conference calls, webinars, and coaching with your people and your teams to help them move forward? Do you have a weekly call to see how they're doing and how you can help them? And again, it doesn't need to be, you know, half hour, an hour. It could be five or ten minutes. It could be a quick text. It could be an email, whatever it is. But, you know, are you reaching out to them on a daily, not daily, but weekly basis to make sure to see how they're doing? Do you have a training program for a new person, for a new business associate? Do you have a plan for them? And you truly need to have, you know, a plan in place because it makes things so much easier. So now it becomes duplicatable and you can use the template for every single person. And obviously every single person has a different um, you know, situation, whether they're a full-timer or a part-timer, or they have uh, you know, a full-time job and they're just doing this you know, um, to earn their product. Whatever it is, there still needs to be some type of training so, there no, so they know how to work the business. <clears throat> and are you helping them through the business success guide that is now online? We used to have the business resource um, with new business associate resource DVD, and they would get that um, when they launched. We now have put that online. So this is what it looks like online. It's under members, and then there's a section called new business associate resources. And if you haven't checked it out, uh, it just went up last week, uh, so it's relatively new. Um, but this is all the material that was on the DVD, so it's now online for people to access. So there's posters on the, uh, basically this is mimicked off the Brilliant Body System series. So you've got the posters there, you've got business advertising material like flyers, brochures, um, there's the PowerPoints for 10 um, basically herbal hour workshops on the Brilliant Body Systems, um, there's information on the herbal hours, um, there's a ton and ton of information here that you can guide your people through. But the very first top section there is 
your business success guide. And that's a guide, it's about, I don't know, probably about 20, 29 pages. And it's really their blueprint, their success guide to success for their first 90 days. And if you're not sure what to cover with them, or you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't have time to put together a training program, I'm not really sure where to start, this is your success guide too, because basically you just need to follow along with them and help them. So I strongly encourage you to utilize that, and so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can just go through that, give them assignments, and you know, day one, day two, day three, and actually in there, in the business success guide, it, it's really, uh, near the end, it's about what to do on their first 30 days, and it really walks them through what they need to do. So following up with them, making sure that they're doing what they should be doing is going to really truly help them develop and grow their business. And there's a couple of things here. So there's income producing activities and then investment in their business activities. So the first one, income producing IPAs are designed to help new business associates make money immediately. So that's, so first you're gonna make a list, then you're gonna contact and invite, then you're going to share um, the information about the business and the product. You're gonna follow up, and then you're going to work on, you know, sponsoring and getting uh, business associates or new customers. These are all IPAs, so they're income producing activities. You know, setting up their own personal website, it, it, is also an IPA, so that's like the MyNSP website. Um, so those are income producing activities. Now, investment in their business activities, so IBAs, those are necessary, but they don't yield immediate dollars in their pocket. Those things are like, you know, dreaming, like doing their dream and vision board, um, writing down their commitment, their goals, and their checklist activities, you know, such as attending meetings and training sessions, you know, working on their computer, their planning and administrative activities um, that support their business. You know, IBAs also include like investment in themselves, such as reading books or listening to CDs. These are definitely investment in their business activities, but they're not income producing activities. And you really need to make sure that your people know the difference. Top business leaders recommend following the 80-20 rule. 80% of the time dedicated to their major sunshine business should be spent on the IPA, so income producing activities. And 20% of the time should be spent on investment in their business activities. That way they should see faster and more profitable results in their business. So, you know, we've always, you know, heard the, um, the mantra, you know, work, you know, working on the business versus working in the business. And you always want to be working you know, on the business and in the business. But again, as you can see here, it's the 80-20 rule. So they all, all these things need to get done, but it's a matter of prioritizing and making sure that they're always doing income producing activities. At least every, I mean, they need to be doing those every single day. Goal setting. You know, again, this is very important exercise to do with your new business associates or, or someone's hit manager. You, obviously you can change the months below depending on when they started in the business, but you know, this should be done about a month into the business so you can see what some of their stats are. So this is just an example. So if the goal by the end of November is to create 100, I'm just 100, 1,000 PV during, so over the month of November, that would obviously help them achieve, it would hit the manager. The average sales and their average sales appointment is 100 PV. Then the number of meetings or one-on-ones they would need to hit their goal would be 10. So you'd want to allow 12 for you know, to allow for cancellations because, you know, life happens. And then if the number of contacts it takes them to book one appointment is 10, then the number of contacts they need the, for that month to book 10 appointments realistically is 100. So that means number of contacts per week, divide that by four, so it's 25. And then if you do that by five days a week, number of contacts per day is five. So that's what they focus on. So it's five contacts a day, five new people a day. It's five a day is a champion's way. So, you know, obviously a lot of times our PV is much higher than the 100. It could be, obviously we're striving for at least the 135, right, for Sunshine Rewards. And then a lot of times you do get higher than that, uh, you know, when we're working with families and things like that. But this is just like the bare minimum. But they people really need to know 
their numbers and need to break it down. And again, this doesn't happen right away because they need to have some experience and they need to have some numbers obviously to look at. Um, it's not, they need some history in a sense. Um, but you could do this with your own numbers or maybe have an example, I mean, or just use this example because 1,000 PV gets them to manager. Um, and those are, some, you know, an average sales appointment, maybe just increase that to 135, you know, so you've got the sunshine reward. So whatever it is, it's just working through the numbers with them and, and showing them realistically what it's going to take. And that's really, really important. So again, using the following questions to help you create an action plan for December. So, so this is you're sitting down with your, your people. You know, PB, PGB income I want by the end of December is blank. The average sales I generate per appointment or client is blank. The number of appointments I'll need to hit my goal in December is blank. Basically, you're dividing answer in A by B. The number of contacts it takes for me to schedule an appointment is blank. And again, if you don't know this, start tracking it now. And then the number of contacts I need in order to book the number of appointments I want is, and again, you're multiplying the answer in C with the answer in D. And then the number of contacts I'll need to make each week is, again, right, four weeks in a month. And the number of contacts I'll need to make each day is blank. Again, divide answer by five days a week. And my daily action plan is how many contacts a day. Maybe it's four, maybe it's three, maybe it's five, maybe it's six, maybe it's eight. But whatever it is, is just having that goal and always knowing what you're going after. And we're after helping people. That's what we do on a daily basis. So I, I don't want you to get caught up in numbers, but in the, the reality is, I mean, you know, we sell herbs. That's what we do. We sell herbs that transform people's lives. We are helping them live longer and healthier lives. We are helping people get off their, you know, their meds and, and you know, we hear stories about, you know, people not having insulin shots and different things like that. We are helping people transform their lives. So your number of, you know, appointments, you know, that's what you should be thinking about is how many people's lives am I going to change and impact this month? That's what you need to be thinking about. It's not about, you know, I don't want you to take this, you know, it's, oh, these are sa it's sales game. It's a numbers game. No, you're talking about human beings and lives here. And how many people do you want to impact? How many people's lives and families do you want to impact and save and, and change for the better? That's what you need to be thinking about. And, and I know some people, you know, get into this business, and, and obviously that's what they want more than anything is to help people change their lives. And if they see this kind of written down, they're like, oh, this is just sales. It's all in numbers. You know, you just care, you just care about the bottom line. <clears throat> it's a reality that there's a monetary transaction happening between you and that customer. And we want to help as many people as humanly possible. And why wouldn't you want to share what you have with others? I personally think that everybody in, in Nature Sunshine has a moral obligation to share what we have with every single person they know. Because you can truly change their health for the better for the rest of their lives. And if you introduce them to the business opportunity, you can also change their life financially for the rest of their life for the better. So let's not prejudge. Let's not, you know, think about, you know, the money because when we help people, it just happens. But we need to be also be really realistic and know what we're working towards and working with. So this is the lovely chart that's on the website. And again, this gives you all the different levels from associate all the way up to senior diamond. And then product discount always starts at 20 and then managers and above is 30%. And then as you can see, the volume rebate is anywhere from 0 to 30. And then the first level override is 12, second level 6, third level 4, fourth 3, and fifth level 1. So we all, we've all seen this. We're all familiar with this. So first level... These are all your preferred customers, business associates, and managers that you have personally sponsored directly. Again, you will need to work with these people to develop their first level. And as a manager, you would receive 12% of your first level manager's PGV. Second level, these are all the preferred customers, business associates, and managers that your first level business associates and managers have sponsored. And then once you reach bronze manager, so basically when you are a manager and you develop one more manager, that means bronze, you will receive 6% of your second level manager's PGV. 
And then third level, these are all the preferred customers, business associate managers that your second level business associates and managers are sponsored. And then again, once you reach silver manager status, you will receive 4% of your third level managers, PTV. Fourth level, these are all the preferred customers, business associates, and managers that your third level business associates and managers have sponsored. Once you reach gold manager status, you will receive 3% of your fourth level managers, PGV. And then finally, fifth level, these are all the preferred customers, business associates, managers that your fourth level business associates and managers have sponsored. And then once you reach master gold status, you'll receive 1% of your fifth level managers. PGV, and then once you reach Platinum Diamond or Senior Diamond, you'll receive 2% of your fifth level managers, PGV. So, obviously becoming a manager. As a first-time manager that has maintained the rank of manager for three consecutive months, from the first month of qualifying as a manager, so really it's, it's four consecutive months of manager rank, you will also be awarded with the choice of one of the options below. So they can get a CD series with the workbook entitled ABCD approach to natural health by uh, Stephen Horn, or they can get $100 off the informed certification to become an informed coach, or they can get a $100 travel allowance, I'll have to revise that, to 27 since 2017 conference, and obviously they, they must attend conference. And again, receiving 30% discount for 12 months for qualifying and maintaining manager for three consecutive months. And these are just some examples, again, for a bronze manager, again, minimum of two qualified managers in a group, including yourself. So basically, it's you and one other manager. Um, you know, and then 3,500 TGV of two levels, again, of which 1,000 is your personal group volume, and 135 is your personal PV. So, you know, using this example here, um, you know, to 3,600 uh, TGV, 30% 30 product discount, you know, the rebate, first level overrides, you know, this person would also would get, you know, over $700 plus direct purchase profit and on the PCs and BAs plus the bronze. They were in the bronze academy meeting at convention. And any of you who were there this year, it was pretty awesome. So when we're breaking out managers and then we see that second level manager overrides, that gets exciting. Um, so that's what we're striving for. You know, silver manager, it's the minimum of four qualified managers in your group, including yourself. So it's really you plus three. And two qualified first level managers, not including yourself. And then that 8,500 TGV, three levels of which, again, 1,000 is PGV, 135 is PV. And then you earn the Rising Star Convention in Utah. And that's an incredible journey. There's training, recognition, tour the laboratories on the plant and you meet the company's founders, it's just fantastic. So definitely check out the web if you haven't if you don't know more about that. But you know, building a silver level team, you know, it's you as the manager, and then developing three managers. So three managers is is each person, you know, doing thousand PGD. So who on your team do you know that is eager to become a manager, that's on pace to do it, that has a net you know, that is, you know, working towards that, is reaching out, is, um, you know, maybe they have a clinic and they're doing appointments and different things like that. How are you supporting them and guiding towards that? If they're just doing this part-time and it's networking and different things like that, how are you supporting them um, and getting them to manager? Um, you know, again, it's putting down that goal-setting plan that, we, that I showed you at the beginning and really sitting down with them at the end of the month and saying, okay, what are we at? Where do we want to go for? What are we working towards? and making sure that they're on pace. So it's always, you know, having, I suggest, I don't care if you draw this yourself, or you can just go into PowerPoint and do blank ones here, and, or uh, Microsoft Word, it's the same thing, where you can do organizational charts. And I want you to start, you know, putting names down of who you have that can be a manager. Who in your organization now is a preferred customer that you can bump up to a business associate? Who's a business associate that you can convert into Sunshine Rewards, or vice versa? You know, I mean, obviously, Sunshine Rewards, Rewards are already a business associate level, but are they doing the business? And then from your business associates, who are, who are people that you can guide and mentor to become a manager? So you always have to have this type of diagram with you. This is your organization. This is your silver level dream team, you know? You know, it's, it's Tammy's silver level dream team or Kathy or Penny or, you know, I'm just picking names, but it, it could be anyone, right? So... You need to start always having this type of chart somewhere where you you can visualize and you can see and you can think about who in your organization, uh, you know, clients or whoever could be interested in 
you know, doing something like what you do and really, you know, spreading the word on a larger basis about Nature Sunshine and really helping people transform their lives, because that's what you're doing. So a gold manager is a minimum of eight qualified managers in group, including yourself. So again, this is you plus seven, right? And then you need to have three qualified first level managers, and then 18.5 TGB, of which 1,000, again, one PGB, and 1,000 PGB, and 135 PGB. But this is where the fun begins. This is where that business building bonus kicks in. So when you have one first level bronze manager, that qualifies you to earn a 10% business building bonus on the commissionable TGB. Two first level man bronze managers qualifies you for a 15% bonus TGB. And then three first level bronze managers qualifies you for a 20% bonus TGB. And again, gold managers can earn up to $500 per month. And again, this, this happens when you hit gold, master gold, um, you know, platinum diamond and senior diamond. That business building bonus is always there, but it kicks in at the gold manager level. So how do you get there? You know, building a gold level team, the gold level dream team, the gold medal team, whatever you want to call it, Olympic champions, whatever you want to call it. But again, having this chart, so there's you. And then who are your first level managers, those three? And then from those three managers that on your first level, who do they have that they are developing to, into managers, so that second level? And again, you are the head of the tree here. So you need to know who these people are. You need to be helping them and guide them and you know, helping them draw their tree, just like you have your little tree here. You need to draw your tree and fill it in and again, it's going to be constantly changing because you are constantly meeting new and exciting and cool people. So it's really neat to sit down and really dream about, you know, the people that they can add to their organization. And it gets exciting when they're, you know, calling you and letting you know, oh my gosh, this lady was, you know, so excited. I was telling her about the product and she's using uh, the chlorophyll and, and uh, Zimbrosin just noticing a huge difference. And, and uh, we started talking about, you know, about, you know, earning extra income, especially with the holidays coming up. And, and, you know, I mentioned, you know, the business side of things. And, oh, my goodness, she was so excited. And she's just, she just wants to do this. And I, she wants me to help her. And I'm so excited. And I can totally see her being a manager. You know, so you're going to get those stories. And you need to add them in here. So, you know, you're going to have lots of different names because you don't know where people are at. But you always have to have names of people in your organization so you can help them achieve those higher levels. Because the more people in the organization, the more people that you're helping. And the more that we're spreading the word. We are the best kept secret in the world, Nature Sunshine. Because we really should be a common household name, but we're not. And that's what the goal, goal, <laughs> the goal is, is to share what we're doing with as many people as possible. And like Tiffany said, some will, some won't, so what? Someone's waiting. There is always, always, always someone waiting to hear what we have to say and to show, uh, share with them about our amazing products that can transform their lives. And it all starts with our people, you know, using the products. You know, they are the ones that are our brand ambassadors. They're so loving the product and seeing the transformation. And those are the people that are going to help you grow and help you on your journey of spreading the word about Nature Sunshine. Because we're, you know, in the business of transforming lives. But this business building bonus, okay, so if you have one bronze manager, it's 10%. If you had two, it's 15%. And then if you had three, it's 20% bonus. So again, it's really crucial to always be thinking about who can you help hit manager? Who can you help um, you know, what's a hit manager? Who can you help them in their, in their organization? Who's in their organization that get a chief manager? You know, because again, it's a thousand and, you know, sending people up on Sunshine Rewards, if they just set up seven accounts in Sunshine Rewards, they'd be a manager. So, you know, breaking things down, breaking down the numbers and letting them know that and always, you know, don't wait to the last minute for manager and hitting it, you know, on the 29th day, um, you know, just really knowing the cycle of the business and teaching your people about the cycle of the business will get you to that gold level and that business building bonus where it can really be exciting to get that extra income. So again, it's that constant focus of people in your organization. 
in your first level and then teaching your people in your first level how to you know become leaders and to really learn how to teach their people and create other leaders <coughs> so I have this awesome video I want to show you it is one of my absolute favorite people in the world and that's mr. Robin Sharma and he's going to talk about leadership and this is really directed about helping your managers develop other managers and I really it's about 10 minutes long so sit back maybe take some notes but I think you're really going to enjoy it um, and then I'll uh, have some more thoughts for you after Hi, it's Robin Sharma, author of The Leader Who Had No Title, founder of the Titan Academy, and welcome to this mastery session, which I know you're going to love. Why? Because it's all about leadership. I've spent so much of the past 20 years of my life evangelizing a message that leadership is not about a title, leadership is not about the size of your office, leadership is not about having formal authority, leadership is a mindset. Leadership is a way of operating through your days. Leadership is a heart set. Leadership is a way of being. And I think, you know, we're now in leadership 2.0. The old model of leadership said you need to have a lot of money or you need to be a prime minister or president. You need to be a CEO or a managing director in order to be a leader. Leadership 2.0 is fundamentally different. Leadership 2.0 simply says if you can breathe, if you are alive, you not only have the opportunity, you have the responsibility to show leadership, not only in your work, not only in your creativity, not only in your impact, not only in your influence, but even in your personal life. And so what I want to do in this mastery session, I'm, I'm thrilled that you're here with me today. I want to walk you through a number of key protocols or thinking tools that will really help you become a leader without a title. So let's get right to the first tactic for you to be an even better leader. Install the lead without a title mindset. And again, that's just a way of thinking. It's an approach. So what I'm really suggesting is no matter what you do, no matter what your station in life is, start thinking like a leader. Because you really have a choice when you go out in the world every day. You can be a victim or you can be a leader, but you can't do both. And so the more you practice showing leadership in your work, showing leadership with your family, showing leadership in your community, showing leadership in your private self, practice drives performance. And the more you practice it, the more you start to step into the mindset of a leader without a title. Number two, the best leaders on the planet grow other leaders. So if you're not growing leaders faster than your peers, you're not leading, you're following. I'm going to repeat that again. The job of the leader is to grow more leaders. So yes, do your work. Yes, become more creative. Yes, innovate. Yes, optimize your personal life. And yet at the same time, make the time to develop leaders around you. What that might look like at the office, celebrating a teammate. At the office, that might look like modeling mastery. At the office, it might look like collaborating with someone who needs some collaboration. At home, what does growing leaders look like? Well, it might be mentoring your children, exposing them to art, giving them great books. It might mean being a positive force in your home life. So the job of the leader is to grow more leaders. Number three, I call it the three I practice. The three I practice. If you want to be a better leader, understand and then practice these three I's. Number one, inspiration. The job of a leader really is to inspire other people. If you look at Steve Jobs, you look at Elon Musk, you look at Nelson Mandela, you look at Sergey Brin of Google, you look at a Rembrandt or, or a Picasso, these people were incredibly inspired. They were not only incredibly inspired, they were inspirational to other people. I mean, there's that incredible story of Steve Jobs, and a lot of people say Steve Jobs wasn't a nice person, and yet if you were to poll the former employees of Apple, they would say, my years at Apple working with Steve Jobs were the single best years of my entire career. And you say, why? And they say, because he was inspirational. I mean, when Steve Jobs was a young man or, or a young kid, you know, his father said, go out and paint the fence outside of their house. And Steve Jobs said, no problem. He went out and he started painting the outside of the fence. A few hours later, his father comes out and says, Steve, did you paint the fence? Steve says, I did, Dad. Steve Jobs' father inspects the fence. And he says, Steve, you did a great job painting the outside of the fence, but you didn't paint the inside of the fence. 
Steve Jobs looks up at his father and says, but dad, no one's going to see the inside of the fence. And his father looks at him and says, but son, we will. Now it's many decades later and Steve Jobs is running Apple and they're ready to launch or ready to develop rather the first Apple Macintosh. And he looks at his design team and he said, here's your deliverable. I want the outside of the computer to look so simple and so elegant, like a piece of art. But here's the real mission. Make the inside so beautiful that it'll bring tears to our eyes. And his design team looked at him and said, but Steve, no one's going to see the inside of the, the Apple Macintosh. And Steve Jobs looked at his team and said, but we will. That's inspiration. I think the only title that really matters is CIO, Chief Inspirational Officer. So no matter what you do, whether you're a teacher or a firefighter, an astronaut or an entrepreneur, maybe you're a managing director, maybe you're a mother or a father, be the CIO, the Chief Inspirational Officer of all you do. The second I of the three I practice to make you an amazing leader is influence. Influence. You want to be so good at what you do that you influence other people. You want to use the words and the language of leadership versus victim speak. You want to influence people by your mindset, by your heart set. You want to influence people by your thinking patterns. You want to influence people by your productivity. So you want to influence people, and that's the job of a leader. And then the third I of the third I practice, impact, less talk, more do. No matter what your title is, you know you're leading, you know you're winning when you are creating impact. You know, a lot of people in the world, and victims love to do this, they talk about what they're going to do. Here's the project I'm going to launch. Here's the marathon I'm going to run. Here's the life I'm going to craft. But they don't execute. Impact is about translating your ideas to execution. Okay, let me wrap up with two final things for you to become an amazing leader. The fourth thing to really focus on is the quality of your craft, okay? So regardless of what you do, see yourself as a craft person. Be so great at your work that when we watch you work, tears fill our eyes. Like tears fill our eyes when we look at Michelangelo's masterpiece on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. And this is an incredible opportunity because I think there's two economies out there. There's the global economy that everyone talks about. But there's also something that I teach at the Titan Summit, for example, which is your personal economy. And if you start thinking about your personal economy, the craft that you birth into the world, the value that you deliver to your organization, your customers, and all stakeholders, and you say to yourself, I will not release any work until it's nothing less than world class. You develop a personal economy where the entire world, or maybe it's your entire industry, starts to view you as legendary. And then while the rest of the global economy is in acute disruption, people are losing their jobs, people are being laid off, the world beats a path to your door because the world always wants the best. The marketplace pays for mastery. And then the final thing that amazing leaders do, and again, you don't have to have a title, so don't give away your power and say, well, I'm going to just resign myself to mediocrity because I'm not the boss around here. You know, you can be in a front line so-called employee and be so great at what you do that your behavior and your performance goes viral across the organization and it goes viral across the marketplace because you're a merchant of wow and that's actually the right thing to do. It'll allow you to go to sleep every night with a clear conscience. You'll feel so great about yourself and of course the organization is just going to watch you fly. So the final way to be an amazing leader is to build relationships. And I'll leave you with this brain tattoo. Focus on the relationships and the money will take care of itself. Or I'll put it to you this way. Take care of the relationships and the human connections and the income will take care of itself. We live in a world where there's almost been a commoditization of humanity. You know, I was in a store yesterday and it was just... A human interaction where I picked up something, I walked up to the counter, and the manager of the store, and I knew he was the manager of the store because unbelievably he had a 
picture of himself with a frame and his name underneath it. Okay, a little bit of ego there, but I'm not judging, I'm just reporting. And, you know, here are two human beings interacting, and I believe that every interaction is a moment of truth. You get to live your values and model mastery when you meet that other human being, or you don't. And I'm just sharing with you, he didn't look me in the eye, he didn't say hello, he didn't say welcome to the store. He literally took what I bought, processed my credit card, another person came to the counter at the same time, and he pretty much just like handed me the, the, the receipt for my credit card without any acknowledgement, and he didn't even say thank you. Now that was an opportunity to lead. That was an opportunity to wow. He could have made me laugh. He could have connected. He could have made the world a little bit better by me while making his store even better. And then I would have come back every time because he, he would have solidified that human connection because we do, we do business with people we like. And that was a moment not only to show mastery, it was not only a moment to show ingenuity, it was not only a, a moment to have a human connection, it was not only a moment to grow his business by building a relationship. It was a moment to show a tiny act of love. And I'll leave you with this. The world needs more love. The world needs more leadership. Please do not resign yourself to any form of mediocrity by saying, I, Robin, I can't lead. You're alive. You have power. You might not know it. Go lead. Thanks so much. Hi, it's Robin. I invite you to subscribe to this podcast. Wow, there was a lot of good nuggets in there, and I hope you took some notes. And I love what he talks about, the merchant of wow. He talks about that in a lot of his books and other webinars he does. But being that merchant of wow and going above and beyond and serving our clients and our customers and, and, and just, you know, transforming their lives, which we do. So we, I know almost all of you do this. You are a merchant of wow, and you, you go the extra mile for people because you care. You know, I love the CIO, Chief Inspirational Officer. That is you. You are CEO of your business, but you are the CIO for your people. You are their Chief Inspiration Officer. I love this quote that's up on the screen here now. Good, better, best. Never let it rest till your good is better and your better is best. And I, I love this. It's just it's such a great simple quote. But again, good, better, best. Never let it rest till your good is better and your better is best. We are constantly learning and growing. And we need to remind our people that they are constantly learning and growing and that you're there to support them. You know, you can share this video that was on here with them. You know, send it in an email, like the link. It's all on YouTube. If you Google um, and go on YouTube and just Google Robin Sharma, or not Google, but I mean, you can go on to uh, YouTube, and he has tons and tons of fantastic videos. But you could send out, a, you know, one of these great leadership-type uh, messages once a week to your team via email. It's that simple. It could be, you know, um, you know, a discussion topic with people, like some of your top three, um, you know, action items that you got from this, from this quick little video. And everybody's got, you know, eight, nine, ten minutes that they can watch a quick video, but let them know that ahead of time. So I really hope that this made you think about your team, your organization. I hope you wrote down some names of people that you need to reach out to, um, who's on your list that you can help develop into a manager, and then your current managers, who on, from those can you help become a better leader so they can develop managers, you know, and just finding out what they need. Ask them what they need from you. That's the most humbling and best thing that you could possibly do for you know, your organization is ask them specifically, what can I do to support you? What can I do to help you grow and develop your business? And I'm sure you're going to be you know, very happy with the responses and, and that it's going to give you some guidance on how you can grow and develop your people. So... That's all that I have for you today, but I want to have some, uh, there's some great promotions I want to remind you about. Um, this goes on until Friday, so we have Parsley, SCRJ, the, the new uh, Probiotic the Basilis, um, TS2, and LibGD all on until the end of the week. So this ends on Friday, so don't miss out on that. 
Then we also have all product sale from uh, going to up until the 13th. And again, that's on web orders only. So again, don't uh, miss out on that because that ends next week. And a reminder too, this ends on the 18th. And this is the new uh, product special for the oils. Um, the oils will be here hopefully next week. And as soon as they are, we will make a big announcement so everybody's aware. But make sure that you take advantage of this and, and get them while they are on special. We also have the new product special for the new, um, new proteins and other items. Um, that's extended to the 18th, so don't miss out on that either. Uh, for the month of November, we've got a lot of great stuff on. So again, that goes until the 30th, but uh, feel free to take advantage of those promotions now. Sharing Sunshine for November, we have vitamin D3. So not only will the new person receive that, but you as the sponsor also will receive a free vitamin D3. So uh, make sure that you are promoting that to your organization. And then renew, uh, renewals for membership, um, they will also get a free vitamin D3. So that's for the month of November. And best, saving the best for last is we have our amazing meeting starting on Monday. And that's with Cindy Clement. First we're in Belleville and the Mississauga, Kelowna, St. Albert, and Vancouver. I know Kathy Dean has one this on um, Saturday in Vernon. So anybody in Vernon, Kathy Dean has an event happening there. Um, then on the 22nd, so we will be in St. Catharines. Um, Susan Rusco will be the one um, um, running that meeting as well as myself. So if you're in St. Catharines that evening, uh, we will be there. And then also on the Saturday the 19th, there will be a Winnipeg meeting with Cindy as well. So uh, make sure if you're in those areas, you do talk to your upline so you can find out all the great details. Um, but it's going to be a fantastic event to learn more about the oils, to get your hands on. Uh, smell them, play with them, all that fun stuff. So you definitely don't want to miss out. Make sure you're inviting people, telling people all about it. Essential oils are a hot, hot, hot item right now. So in, in ours, ours are absolutely the best in the world. So definitely want to make sure that we are promoting this. Alrighty. Well, I want to thank everyone for your time today. I hope you gave you some food for thought, and I hope you go out and lead your organization and lead your, your people to greatness because you are all fantastic people that change people's lives every single day, and uh, it's an honor to be able to work with every one of you. So thank you again. Have a wonderful day, and I uh, hope to see many of you next week at the upcoming, upcoming meetings. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.